pot is able to reach areas that are difficult for human beings, uh, areas that could have risks to them, like high temperature areas that we have in our process. He has already a bundle of sensors, which human beings don't have them. So Ashco is one of the leading cement producers in America, almost 100 years. So the facility's been here for almost 100 years. We've got good, high quality staff. Now we really want to utilize those staff, better utilize those staff to do more important things than walking around the factory with instruments. My day-to-day -day is uh, a combination of uh, either processes, uh, keeping up uh, with numbers, as well as taking a look at how our assets are performing so they keep producing the cement that we need to sell to our customers. We are trying to fix all the equipment to ensure the production for 24-7. So I'm leading a department from reliability, electrical, mechanical, and we are trying to fix uh, the equipment or to prevent any <laughs> failures. We try to avoid unplanned shutdowns by finding data in vibration analysis, temperature trends, operational data from the computer systems. So as a management team, we got together thinking about what we can do to take the plant to the next generation. We started looking on the internet, benchmarking with other industries, and we found that quadruped robotics existed with highly sophisticated instrumentation on. Um, what led us to Boston Dynamics is that they are the world leader in mobile robotics. So we went and started talking to Boston Dynamics and fit was perfect. So SPOT is going to do a lot of rounds, going to bring us uh, also vibration, air leak, going to give us thermal camera. We have high temperature, high noise, difficult access. SPOT will help us with that. He will measure the temperature for us. He will just give us the data and will help us prioritize. Hey, this is a problem. Our aim for SPOT is that um, at the moment we don't have uh, preventive or proactive maintenance routines on night shifts and at weekends. And also our labour force has spent a lot of time um, recording data rather than analysing it. So the idea is with Spot is that Spot can do this for us. Um, we come in the mornings, we already have reports generated, we know what's happened on the plant, and then we can proactively fix those issues rather than spending eight hours trying to find them. Now that Spot is deployed, we are adding more and more inspection everywhere. The fact we can improve the reliability of the plant, that will automatically generate ROI reduce power consumption, reduced energy consumption. The fact we can free up people's time to become better skilled, upskill people, to analyze the data more. So we know there's a huge ROI for SPOT. We just want to ensure that our people are spending their time in the best way possible. SPOT is a huge asset for the team. He's giving us information day and night, bringing us data and help us monitor the, the equipment. So CRH is very forward-thinking. They know the people in the company has got a lot of very good ideas how to bring the company forward for the future. So the Innovation Fund was set up um, to try and help those ideas. Once people knew that we'd won money from the Innovation Fund for CRH Innovation Fund, people became really excited. Motivation increased. People were excited to, do, to see spots on the plant and to work with, with it. So it's going to be an amazing experience for the whole plant. That will also increase the motivation safety improvements. I mean, there's so many things, ideas we've got for SPOT. Part of the Innovation Fund's scope was the scalability of, of SPOT. And so once SPOT is successful at, at Seattle plant, we can roll it out across the other 12 plants in America.